With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, what is given that at the moment t equals to 0, when the charge on the capacitor C1 is 0, the switch is closed. Now, if I not be the current through the inductor at t equals to 0, then for t greater than 0, okay, we need to identify the maximum current through the inductor and also the maximum charge on C1. Now, what we are doing, we are just uh, this switching on this uh, this uh, switch, okay. So, this C2 would be bring into picture. Now, C1 and C2, they both be in parallel, they will be in parallel. So, what is the equivalent capacitance for a parallel combination of capacitor? So, C equivalent is basically C1 plus C2, okay. So, in the parallel combination, we use C1 plus C2, okay. Now, if we uh, just draw our circuit, let's say this is our circuit, let's say this is our circuit, okay. So, we are having a capacitor here and we are having an inductor here, okay, like this. This is our inductor, this is our capacitor. Now, this is our C equivalent, that means C1 plus C2 and this is our inductor L. Now, the current which was initially flowing through the inductor was 1 I0, okay. Now, what will happen? So, we know that this is an LC circuit. So, the energy and basically charge, they would oscillate, okay. So, the amount of energy which is carried by the inductor, which is the maximum energy, it would be equals to 1 divided by 2 L into I0 square, okay. Now, if maximum charge which is built on the on this uh, equivalent capacitor, let's say the maximum charge is Q, okay. This is the maximum charge Q. So, this energy would be equals to the energy on the inductor would be maximum energy on the inductor would be equals to maximum energy which is stored by the capacitor, which would be equals to 1 divided by 2 Q square divided by C equivalent. This is how we write the energy for, a, for our capacitor. So, this value would be equals to Q square divided by 2 times C1 plus C2, okay. Now, if we solve this expression, then our Q would turn out to be this 2 and this 2 would be cancelled. So, our Q would be uh, Q square, this would be, if we just multiply this, so it would be L I naught square C1 plus C2, okay. So, this would be the maximum charge which would be flowing through our circuit. So, we can say that our Q would be equals to uh, I naught and in the square root, it, it would be equals to C1 plus C2 times L, this would be in the square root, okay. Now, let us redraw our circuit just for the capacitor part. Okay, let's say this is our capacitor part, this is our C1 and this was the our inductor part and this is our C2. Okay, let's say this is our C1 and this is our C2. So, what is the charge which is flowing through uh, here? Uh, in the maximum case, it is equals to Q. Now, here the charge which is going is Q1. Here the charge which would be going through would be equals to Q2. So, we can say that our Q would be equals to Q1 plus Q2. Okay, this would be the case. Now, since the potential, these are connected in parallel. So, our C1 and C2, basically, these would be connected in parallel. Here, we can see that all the circuit, these, these are in parallel. So, the potential difference would be same. So, how to write the potential difference? Potential difference is basically Q divided by C. So, Q divided by C for this one, this is the potential difference uh, for our first one, would be equals to Q2 divided by C2. Now, from this expression, the value of Q2 would turn out to be Q2 would be equals to Q1. Uh, then C2 divided by C1, okay. So, let's say this is our equation. Let's say this is our equation 1. Let's say this is our equation 2 and this is our equation 3. Now, if we put equation 3 putting Q2 from 3 uh, into 1, we get, if we put this, so, we, we would be getting Q1, C2 divided by C1 plus uh, this uh, uh, Q, uh, Q1, this would be, basically we have written Q1 plus Q2, this is equals to capital Q and capital Q we know, capital Q value which we have calculated is I0 in the square root C1 plus C2 times of L, okay. So, here we can take Q1 to be common. So, if we take Q1 to be common, then it would be, uh, so, so uh, it would be C2 plus C1 divided by C1, this would be equals to I0, then C1 plus C2 times L in the square root. So, our Q1 would turn out to be, if we solve this, then our Q1 would turn out to be I0 uh, into C1, uh, then C1 plus C2 L in the square root divided by C1 plus C2. So, here also there is a C1 plus C2 factor, here it is C1 plus C2 in the square root. 
so we can just write so one power would be cancelled so half power would be just remaining so it would be c1 l divided by c1 plus c2 in the square root okay because it would this is one power and this is half power so this would be the uh, uh, value of q1 so if you check the option so the option correct option would be c1 i not in square root l divided by c1 plus c2 this would be the correct so this would be wrong now the maximum charge so maximum charge it is given as to, uh, this current it is i not by 2 but initially what is the charge i not so uh, the maximum charge which would be uh, for the inductor it would be equals to i not so this and this would also be wrong so the correct option is just our d option hope you understood the solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and after today